Okay, the other day I got a question about um, explain about navbar hover effects. Well, this was done on a Bootstrap Studio video. I put this in here, um, which is the nav navigation clean one. Okay, and here's the code for that. So it does look a bit messy um, and hard to pick off, really. So what I've done is do it in a code editor or Notepad or something like that. Just with the normal HTML uh, things to start off with. So usually with um, you know you do with these things is the anchor tag, which is your link. So okay, so if we just put in a and we'll just put three of those in, okay. So there's your anchor tags and in, in there in the href you'll be putting um, where you're gonna link your web page or you know to the next pages of your site so just put in home here it's just your normal stuff <coughs> you can play around with hover in any element on html it isn't just this but you're, you obviously need um in uh, anchor tags are the most important but uh, i'll just put a list in here as well just to make sure uh, just to show you what that can do as well um I am a list item. Okay, so just save those changes and there we are. Okay, so that that's your, I'll just move in on that. So there you have your home services and your contact. Um, and this isn't, this is your, when you hover the mouse over there, there's nothing really changes apart from your, mark, your cursor changes, okay? Um, so how you can, you know, change all that really is you just do some styling on that. So if we just put style in here, okay. Right, so what we're going to do is we can put in A, which is an, an HTML element in itself. So you don't need to put um, a class or an ID. Okay, so we'll just put hover, curly brackets, okay. And now we can do things with it. So we can do um, background, uh, you know, we'll change that to orange because it's an easy color to, you know, to see. All right, so we just change that and refresh that. So there, you can see that now changing. When you go, when you hover the mouse, that changes. So basically what it is is A, cursor, hover, curly brackets your background color there's a whole lot more things you can do in this though as well you know you can change your font size um, you know to I don't know 20 pixels for example so if you did that um, and then you went over you see the changes and the and the, uh, the letter and gets bigger another thing um, when you're doing this, I mean, you can have something to start off with. You know, you can have A without the hover, and this is what, you know, what it would look like, say, background color, and you could have, um, you know, something like a dark color, really. Say something, oops, um, there. So this is like a gray color. Um, okay, save those changes. There it is, see? You kind of see the, um, the writing now, but you get the idea. I mean, you can put in, after that, you can put in C, uh, which would be sort of off-white color. Okay. Save the changes. All right. And this should change to off-white, as you see. Another thing is, it's good as well for this, um, for your links and that, is text decoration none. So you can have text decoration none. This is done in Emmet, by the way, um, these shortcut things. Save the changes. Okay, and you underline and goes out when that there is, that's off. Okay, so if we go in there, so what you really do in there is with the, uh, with the anchor tag, you're actually starting off with the background color is a dark gray. The next, the color, which is your font, is um, like white text decoration, just which means you're taking the underlying off and stuff. 
which is none. That's the code for that. Then when you hover that, it's A, uh, colon, hover, curly brackets, the background color, which you, whatever you want, font size, you can do all sorts with that. And this is the beginning, I mean, with the anchor tags, they're the beginning of animation right the way back to when 20, it's about 20 odd years, when, um, you know, HTML was coming along there. It is an animation because it's it's actually changing stuff. But nowadays, um, CSS3 come with animations and that is the beginning of that. I just wanted to show though, that with um, the list thing there, okay, so it's not just anchor tags, you can do anything you want with uh, lots of different things. So for example, list again is also a HTML element. So you don't have to put in again your IDs or class. I mean, you can't change them individually if you have a few of them. So say if a background color there could be um, uh, red, okay, and font size could be, I don't know, uh, 25. Okay, so that would look like this. All right. When that refreshes, there you go. Okay, so that's that's what happens there. Nothing's changing when you're hovering over because I haven't told it to do anything. So again, what you do there is you go on list, and then again the colon hover, and then you curly brackets, and then you say list hover, and then you can change the background color or whatever you want to do. Okay, so you could say something like blue for that. Okay, right, um, and you and you could say width. 25% uh, so that would change the width as well all right so when you file save that okay so when you when you go over your um, you know you hover there there see I'm a list and what that means is that your background colors turned to blue your width watch which was a hundred percent by default has gone to 25% so as you can see in there that's what changes. So that's the list there. The background color was red. Font size was 25, which I haven't changed that. But the list hover background color, when you hover it, goes to blue and then the width 25%. And there it is. Okay. So I hope you've, um, you know, you've learned something from that. Again, as always, people just get back if you don't understand anything or if you want us to go through something again. But um, that is the as I said, that is the beginning of animation. It's, you know, that's where it all starts um, with even with HTML and anchor tags. Okay. So again, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.